I found a PCAP file on the net and I just wanted to have a look at that uh, data through Netscope to examine it and um, see what the capabilities of Netscope are. Um, so what I've got is I've, um, I'm replaying the PCAP file uh, at normal speed and it looks like we're getting um, about 10 megabits per second on the inbound and around about 4 megabits per second on the outbound. So I'm looking at the entire link here. If I look at the top traffic classes, I can see, okay, that this is a web traffic is taking up a large proportion of, of that traffic and I've got some default here and the, and the rest uh, pretty minuscule at the moment. So this is in live view. So if I go back to activity, this is live view. I've got the traffic going through um, live. So this is um, one minute and it's per second. It's coming through per second. If I just changed that view to be a bit longer. So I look at the last 10 minutes. Um, go back here. So I look at the last 10 minutes here. I can select that segment by itself and see the traffic just for that period there. So if I look again at top traffic classes, we can see that, that the web, web segment's causing the most amount of traffic. So let's have a look on the left hand side here, let's have a look at web and just select, this is just the web traffic here, we've got selected on the view here is web traffic and network view is activities, activity sorry. So this is the web traffic Let's have a look at what the domains are for that web traffic. All right, so we can see here that the majority of the traffic coming in is from YouTube. So we've got two traffic streams for YouTube. And then we start to go into other websites here, which is streaming production, whatever that is. Some more YouTube, greyhound.com. So let's have a look at YouTube just to show that we can have a look at this data even further so we've drilled down on that segment of traffic so for that time period which is approximately 10 minutes the activity this is the traffic that's coming in um, and the destination addresses okay so this is the IP address on a local on the local subnet on this traffic that the data is coming going to and this is the traffic it's coming from so that'll be the YouTube uh, address there so we can also see top source ports so it's coming from port 80 okay alright so that's that segment of traffic I can go back and have a look at this other segment of traffic here drill down on that and see here that we've got those two peaks there and we can find out where that's going as well. 172.16.133.73. Okay. And I think even that was the same IP address. Let me just confirm that. Destination addresses. 25. No, I think that's different IP addresses. So there's two different traffic streams going to YouTube causing traffic on the network. So if this was your work network and you were looking after this and YouTube wasn't something that you would expect on your network, then this is something that you would be able to investigate and with Netscape you can actually block that off as well. You can shape that traffic down, you can make, make it so it's, it's it has a low priority, so your, your high priority traffic gets through first, such as your, say your, your SSH sessions or your Citrix sessions or your voice over IP and your YouTube type traffic gets a lower traffic priority, so it won't clobber your network. Um, or you can even, you can even um, completely discard all that traffic, so anyway, good idea. Um, Nice to see what we can do with Netscope. Um, if you, if there are, is anyone who would like me to examine their PCAP files, please feel free to um, send them through to me. Just send an email through to me. I'd love to have a look at it because it uh, gives me an example to, gives me a chance to 
look through uh, Netscape's capabilities and get to know it a bit better. Okay.